Ja. Nou jong, merging hè? Ja. Home of the digital DSD DSD. Welcome here in Pyramid Land <laughs> in a sunny spring day of March 2018. Uh, the, the big news for merging this uh, season is the uh, realization of a very tiny small bit of electronics which you can see here. This is a um, card that uh, is designed to be the central core of audio over IP, of networking. So it's, um, it's an endpoint, AES67, Ravenna, endpoint, which uh, allows us to bring in or bring out of this tiny uh, chip something like 500 channels uh, aggregate of audio over gigabit Ethernet. 500 channels? Yes at least 256 times in and 256 times out. Wow. Plus, the, this uh, single chip is, is a system on a chip here. It's a Xilinx uh, Zinc chip, which embeds two ARM cores, similar to those uh, one each of us has in his telephone, although telephones tend to have four cores these days already. Uh, plus, what telephones don't have is a lot of FPGA resources. So this chip embed two arm uh, plus abundant resources of FPGA. With those resources we do one thing, we, we do of course all the management of getting very low latency audio streams in and out of a given device, plus we can root those channels, we can mix them, we can process them, we can uh, do crossovers before going to loudspeakers. We can implement fear filters so that we can control perfect phase and amplitude of a given filter before outputting the, 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 uh, the two, two D two A. So this is actually the the board that keeps us uh, quite busy these days, nights, and even weekends, <laughs> as. We plan uh, for this to be at the core of all the new generation of products that Merging intends to uh, bring out on the market starting end of this year already. Plus, we want to make this available also to OEM customers because we strongly believe that uh, audio over IP is not a, a single company venture or even a re reduced company uh, uh, that, that keeps that business for themselves. We want to make sure that everybody who is uh, interested in joining uh, audio over IP revolution is able to do so with uh, relatively uh, simple investment uh, to deploy. Uh, Vincent, the beast. The beast. Uh, uh, show cloud will help better than the poor software guy I have. Things, near, uh, uh, capacitors and, uh, and transformers and, and, and uh, coolers and stuff. If you need more details, <laughs> it's gonna be here. <laughs> <laughs> the, the essential <coughs> concept behind the, the merging power unit is to offer both ample power and as low noise power as possible to the NADAC series. That's why the, the design is a hybrid concept with 
on this line on this side we have a, a, a switching power supply that will care to power the digital parts or the computer cpu digital circuitry parts of the nadac you see the <coughs> linear section of the power supply which will uh, power the analog circuitry plus the D2A, of course, uh, mm -hmm. sections which need to be as low noise as possible. So it's a hybrid between those two technologies in the same uh, unit. Of course, ample heat sinks uh, provide for, for cool and safe and reliable operations over a long time. Uh, the, the capacitors have been selected very carefully for their uh, characteristics and there's uh, <laughs> it's been designed to be as simple to use as possible with just one switch switching between 230 volt and 115 volt that's all it takes and uh, the analog part and digital part are switchable between 115 and 230 without yes. a problem yes yes the, the the switching power supply doesn't need no, any switching, exactly. but it's the analog part, the linear part, that, yeah, that needs of course to needs to be switched. And they don't influence each other? That's, a, that's of course the <laughs> intriguing question yeah. that, that uh, I would say is of course not. The no. answer is of course not. No, you never know. Uh, to, to going uh, in, in minute details, there is of course uh, an interaction between most uh, quantum parts in this universe. <laughs> so I wouldn't rule out that there is a little bit of tiny interaction between one part and the other, it, since uh, even we know today that uh, photons can be integrated over 10 kilometer distance or even more. Yeah. It, 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 th th there are mysteries on that planet and uh, <laughs> we, we, we have to be very modest when we say, of course, not, there's no interaction. There can be interaction, I, I, starting with the fact that they all uh, drive from the same power input on the rare, of course. Uh, when one draws power, the other will also uh, sure. be on the same chord. So, yes, but uh, the whole point is there's so much filtering, there's so much um, removal of all digital noise components in the linear filter that at the output of the, the linear power supply, there is no residue of, of, of incoming noise from the power, from the from the net and most of these guys here this is wine producer this is another wine producer here too and these are all very good friends particularly these guys over, over to the right that, that's my best neighbors basically